In this short tutorial, I will show you how to set up Video Door Phone in DSS version 8. So let's go on. First, I recommend to check the DSS settings and create the user. Go to configuration, create the user with which user with whom you will actually connect all the VTO and VTH devices into DSS. Then go to video intercom settings and check the settings of your server. In my case, building and unit are not enabled. This is very important. If this doesn't match the setup of the VTO, the units will not get connected. Now let's go to VPET interface of the VTO. Use your credentials and sign in. Go to local settings. First, we have over here central call number. This is actually the number of DSS. In my case, this unit will all the time call the DSS Pro. It will not call Villa Station. If you want, you can change the time when it should be called by the central station and when we should call the VTH, so the inner monitor. Then you see over here that the building and units are not enabled, are disabled. Same as my DSS Pro server. Then I have a VTO number. That's the number actually, like unique number for the VTO in the system. So you can also call this number from the DSS Pro and you will reach the VTO station. Then go to network. In network, set up the IP address, which is in the same range as your SIP server. So your DSS server. Now go to SIP server settings. Disable VTO to be the DSS, uh, to disable SIP server uh, on VTO unit, select Express or DSS Pro to be the SIP server. Put the IP address of the DSS Pro server. In my case, it's 1.7. Most of the VTO got the default port 5060. Our port in DSS, which we are using, is 5080. It was not modified by the administrator. You can change check this also over here on the settings. If you go over here and check the DSS SC, device and businesses, SIP is 5080. So we need to set up the VTO in the same way. If you don't change anything on your server settings, it's 5080 by default. Then put over here the username and the password you created in DSS Pro. So I create the SIP user with his password. So I enter this over here and click save. Once you changed SIP server for DSS Express server or DSS Pro server, the unit needs to reboot. In DSS, go to Home and then to Devices Settings. You can see that in Video Intercom, so far only one device is set it up. So now go over here, find in the menu your unit, put your password, and click OK. Unit was successfully connected and click close. Once the unit is successfully connected, we can test the connections. If you go to access management, you will see the all VTO, VTH which are connected. You can have the tab open or you just go from the main tab and go to access management. This refresh can take up to two minutes. It depends on the size of your system. Once the unit is connected, it's in the green light, changing from the red light. Now we can test whether the connection is successful. So let's call the unit. As you can see, we got the image and also the voice as you could hear the echo. Now let's try the VTO to call the DSS. As you can see also incoming call is over here. So the setting up of the VTO in VTH is not complicated, it's really easy. Just make sure you double check all the settings that was described in the video. Thank you very much.